Good evening, everyone. Uh, just wanted to jump on and uh, do a quick uh, weekend recap. Uh, the weekend's not even completely over. It's like 7 o'clock on Sunday night. But um, neat, interesting weekend in sales. Uh, so I want to kind of get on and kind of recap it and explain everything. And how you might be able to figure out some stuff for yourself, you know, come yard sale season. Because we are in the heart of yard sale season. Um, guys, uh, if you're looking for some card pack opening videos, I'll get back to them. With kids out of school, it's just kind of a little hectic to sit down and make a bunch at one time. So it'll be onesie twosie here for a while. And then uh, hopefully as the summer goes on, we get in a better routine and... We can get some more done. But uh, this weekend's in weekend in sales, um, probably close to $300. I would say we're over $300. And the vast majority of this uh, all came from yard sales. So I'm going to go over what we got. Um, as, you, as you guys know, I'm a sports card seller. So we'll go through the cards first um, and try to give you some ideas on prices. Uh, Griffey Black Gold, that was a three $4 card. Uh, 56 Joe Astroth, uh, I think that was 7 or 8. Eddie Matthews, 63, had some damage, sold that for 3, 4 bucks. Uh, Peter Ramos, 57 tops, decent condition, uh, that was 9. Uh, Michael Jordan Hoops, that's a $3 card all day long, uh, 53 tops, um, early win. Uh, we did $20 on that. Uh, all the vintage cards you're seeing here, the win, the Johnson, uh, these 50s cards here, came from a yard sale buy. I picked up uh, a box, um, about a three row box, completely full of vintage 1950s and 60s cards at a yard sale for $225. Um, ended up being a little over 1,100 cards in it and over 300 total were listable. Uh, what I mean by listable for myself is uh, they were over $4 in value. Um, the highest one, I did have one that's a $300 card. It's not typically, but it's condition-wise. So it was a 53 tops, um, 52, I'm sorry, 52 tops that is just an impeccable condition. And I, I threw it on there for that price, thinking that maybe either we'll do that or I'll send it off and get it graded. I'm still kicking that around. I'll probably end up sending it off and getting it to a graded just to see if it comes back how high. But back to the show here. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for cards. This is probably the best vintage card buy I've ever had. There was nothing huge. There was one Willie Mays that was, like, with somebody else. Um, and Ernie Banks, um, Brooks Robinson. I'm sorry, Frank Robinson. Um, you know, but a lot of this was this stuff. You know, Dale Johnson, 57 tops? 59 tops. My apologies. I think it was, like, 5 bucks. But there was a lot of this stuff. Ron Santos, 67. Right? Am I right? 66. Guys, one of these days I get these old years... Some of them I'm great at 65, 66, and 67. I'm kind of off on, but three bucks, four, three, four bucks. Uh, Charlie Neal, 63, four bucks again. You know, again, the, all day long. That's like bread and butter. I listed uh, nearly 300 of them in a week's time, and you know, we'll probably make two grand, 2,500 off of it in the next year. A uh, little brooch for ten dollars. Again, jewelry. If you can buy jewelry in bulk. You know, this is a great, you know, again, this is nothing special. It's a little Australi Australian painted brooch. Uh, had it not listed for about a month. Ten bucks, you know. Uh, let's get into some of the cooler stuff here. Uh, this is a stereo view type card of a Opera House in Alliance, Ohio. Um, had this listed for a long time. Uh, as you can see, the condition is not the best on it. But um, I actually had it listed for $60 because I couldn't find one like it. And a guy offered me 38 uh, and I just took it because, like I said, I've had it sitting. I probably had this listed for close to a year. So sometimes things don't always move. Now, the interest of fun stuff. So these, three of these four items came from the same yard sale. I bought um, a lot of stuff off a guy at a sale. Uh, total price was somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, $22, $23. And uh, three, the next three items I'm going to show you all came from the same sale. Uh, this is a Hobbs uh, Total Hours Meter. Uh, sold this for, what did it sell for? $39.99, I believe. I have to double check. Pause the video. All right, back. Let's see if we can splice that together. We actually sold this for $29.99. I bought this in with a batch of about 20 different gauges. Um, and I paid $15 for all the gauges off the guy. 
and the I've already sold one batch of the gauges for 60 and this sold for 30 so again I don't have but you know less than a buck per gauge in it and made $30 uh, this is an Osborne arch punch it's a leather punch um, and, and I would have bought this without the box anytime you can pick up something like this and you can see the name and it's an old metal like working type tool um, make sure you can grab it you know if it's cheap you know I paid a quarter for this and sold it for $19.99 you know you can't beat that that's all day long profit there you go uh, the next thing up here we'll leave this for last um, this is a Holly let me back up and see so you can see it that's a Holly performance um, carburetor um, I'm sorry um, yeah I think I call this a carburetor a fuel pump my apologies and as you can see it is brand new never used and um, this was uh, four dollars the guy had marked on it and I sold it for 60 again um, set on you know this is probably two weeks I've had it four dollars purchased sixty dollars we'll take that all day long um, it was a great buy a little bit to ship it uh, the last thing here this is a Bushnell uh, it's scope chief for a 22 uh, it's from the 60s it is missing a little knob there um, but other than that it is perfect it looks great has all the caps you should see the Bushnell on there if you can maybe you can't uh, I got this for two bucks as a yard sale it's I went out of town for a sale about uh, 15 miles away and it was the only, one of the few things I bought it up there for it was like a whole community um, it was the only thing I bought I paid two bucks for it. We just sold it for sixty dollars. Guys, you, you learn as you get along what can sell, what can't sell. But when you can buy this for two bucks, you come. You're not gonna find. I'm not gonna. I may not find another scope for two dollars for ten years. Or, but you know, you run across little things like this, and you can turn it for a big profit. Um, you just get out there, learn the stuff. Don't be afraid to walk around, walk away from an item, pull out your phone, be like. Hey, what's this worth? You know, um, don't stand over top of it and do that. But, you know, if you got to walk away from an item, look at it, see what the price is worth, you're not going to always get it. Somebody else might grab it. There's always somebody out there that probably knows more than you about items. But if you don't buy an item, if it's two bucks, buy it. You know, you buy enough of those lottery tickets, they're going to pay off like this. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Like I said, we'll be back to some semi regular videos hopefully in the fall, but. Until then, it's a little pop-ups like this, but that's this weekend in sales so far, 7 o'clock. Maybe we can do, sell four or five more items before the morning comes, and it's time to ship it all. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.